Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I got something really cool to show you all. And this is like literally something that's out of a sci fi movie. So, I have this here a box. And this box, well, it's a very incredible box. It uh, has four sides to it. And, well, actually, no, it has more than four sides because it's a three dimensional box. Uh, but, of course, we all know that. Even though the box is one of the most important things, what we're actually looking at is what's inside the box. So let's open this up. Okay, let's get this open and let's take a look. Let's take this off. And we have this. What is this? Looks like a like a laptop almost, doesn't it? Like you can see a little crease in the middle and, and like it's definitely something that folds. Well. When you open this up, we have this, or this, or however you want to hold it, even like this. But what this is, is actually a dual screen monitor. So dual screen devices are really taking off these days, and there's like so many like really cool like dual screen handheld devices. Like a lot of phones these days are dual screen. Even, even my phone is like a dual screen phone. You see here, it's uh, this is the LG V60, and you know two screens, and there's other phones from like Samsung or the Microsoft Surface Duo phone, all dual screen phones of some variation or foldable screen or something like that. But those are all like phones and mobile devices. Even like the Nintendo DS kind of had that too. But we never had like a full size like dual screen monitor before, not like a portable dual screen monitor until now. In fact, this works very similarly to how. Uh, really the, the DS or my LG V60 or the Surface Duo works as far as dual screen devices go. And it, this is a really cool device. Like I, I've never seen um, any dual screen display quite like this before. And really th this looks just like a laptop. <laughs> I mean, I, I could totally see like one screen for like the, you know, the display, the other for like the touch screen keyboard. And this would be like, one of those futuristic uh, laptops that you see. And it's very thin and light and definitely very portable too. So this particular monitor, it's the Lapel Dual View Pro uh, portable dual screen display. It is a, this one, this particular model is a 15.6 inch display and one of it is a touch screen and the other one is a non-touch screen. And it also comes with a stylus pen. All right. Now, we have the monitor set up and running. So, here it is, and this is actually my preferred view mode for it, which is uh, two landscape ones. But you could do many different like options. You can have, you could do two portrait if you wanted. It does not have auto rotate, that's what you were wondering. You do have to uh, play around with the settings a little bit. And there's a lot of different settings you could do for how to display it. And, uh, there's a lot of settings on the monitor itself and windows uh, display settings can take care of the rest But you know you could do two landscape you could do one landscape and one landscape flipped You could do two portrait one regular one flipped as well Or you could do both the same and so on uh, And of course, it's a very beautiful display and it does support HDR and it is a high definition display as well And you may be asking like why you would want one regular one flipped well that's because like, this is a 360 degree monitor. Well, um, yeah, it can fold 360 degrees. So you could have, if you're doing presentations, you could have one normal for you and the other one would have to be flipped for the other person. And like I said earlier, I can see this being used for some interesting split screen gaming in that like, this is the perfect way to do split screen gaming without anyone screen looking. Because you have one person here, one person sitting there, and you can't can't screen peek the other person, so that's really the best way to do uh, to do this without uh, screen peeking. So. All right, so we are now actually in game, and yeah, everything looks really great. And like this monitor is like you know advertised and marketed as more of a productivity device, but as far as gaming goes, like this this works great for gaming and. I could definitely see like a lot of uses for like, the dual screen for gaming, like I mentioned, you know, especially for like split screen stuff, if you want to set it up that way. Where like, 
one person does like one monitor, the other person does the other monitor, and you just like fold it. Uh, so yeah, I mean everything looks great on here. Okay, and for this next experiment, I am doing this in an extended uh, landscape display. So I have each of these monitors, I'm basically extending a game across both. So it's kind of like one display, one huge display, just so we can see what gaming like this is like when you kind of um, do like a wide view for the games. Okay, let's try this Halo Reach mission. So while it's interesting playing like this, because you do get like a much bigger view, so to speak, it's a bigger uh, display. You know, there is a huge gap in the middle here and it's very noticeable. So for gaming, it's not really ideal. I mean, it kind of works as you can see here, but you do notice a gap. So I would still recommend if you were to use this for gaming and you just use like one screen for gaming and the other for something else. Uh, and I mean, that's really what this is meant for. <laughs> I mean, you, you could extend stuff between displays, but you were meant to not do that. <laughs> you were meant to kind of use it for multitasking on the go. But of course, we do love our gaming. So let's see what it, whoa, okay. That is really trippy like this. <laughs> um, let's see if I can improve the FOV because yeah, the resolution is very weird here. Um, high FOV should do it. You know what? That's actually kind of reasonable. It's uh, still kind of weird playing like this, but you know, it's uh, doable. <laughs> All right, so to wrap up this video, this monitor, the Lapel Dual Views 360 degree monitor, portable monitor, I wanna add there, is a really cool concept here. It's a really cool device. And it's very versatile. And like, you don't have to like install like drivers or any other custom software. It just works when you plug it in. So it's a really great product. The only like maybe, possible downside I could think to having this is that um, I, I wish it came with more cables and adapters because uh, it's USB-C which is great but uh, some devices don't have USB-C yet so you will need a couple adapters which um, this particular kit did not come with uh, but aside from that like you could easily get those like anywhere but it would be nice if they were included uh, maybe in like some future bundle or something like that uh, but you know aside from that there's really a uh, there's really no other like downside to this. Like, it's a really cool monitor and I can see so many futuristic concepts of the concept of this. Um, and obviously like it's kind of targeted towards like a productivity use cases, like a productivity crowd, either in the office or like design or art and stuff like that. But for gaming, it works just as well. And I'm sure there's like a lot of like gaming use cases that I haven't even considered yet. And there's like so many possibilities of that. And if you really wanted to, like I said, you could do split screen on this uh, with gaming. Uh, not, not a lot of PCs do split screen. So what you could do is one screen has like, for example, Halo. One screen has it running natively on a PC and the other screen has it running in like cloud streaming. And then I'm sure there's some way that you can like uh, play with someone else do kind of like a pseudo split screen that way. But yeah, so overall, I'd say this is a very nice, piece of tech here. It is lightweight, it's portable, and has a very like high quality finish to it. It's not like cheap plastic or anything. It's actually a very nice metallic finish on it. And despite that, it's still very lightweight and portable. And you know, if you're like in productivity and stuff like that, and you, you're used to using multiple monitors, or you travel on the go and you would like more monitors, then I'd say this monitor is a pretty good uh, idea for you. Uh, but even for gaming, you know, <laughs> Uh, once I figure out like the split screen for it, then I'm sure this will be like a fun way to play with someone else without any screen peeking. But yeah, so that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it to be interesting. And if you want more details about this, check out my link in the description below. Uh, but aside from that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.